Democrat. Thank you, Brian. Democrats are doing a full court press claiming President Obama is the best candidate for women voters. President Obama has worked with America's women. He has helped women across this country fight for equal pay, for equal work. And he believes that women are more than capable of making our own choices about our bodies and our health care. That's what my husband stands for. So they claim Republicans are waging a war on women, but what do women actually think? Joining me now is the executive director of the Independent Women's Forum and co-author of a new book, Liberty is No War on Women, Sabrina Schaefer. Good to see you in person. Thanks for having me. So it seemed to me after the Democratic National Convention that they really were trying to fire up the base of women, but, but only on one issue, it seemed to be about contraception. That's right. Well, single women are a critical base for pre President Obama, and they are the basis for Sandra Sandra Fluke for the life of Julia infographic and for all of the war on women rhetoric. The problem is is that women don't want to be playing identity politics right now. Women and men want the same thing, that is economic growth and job creation. So women, when they're thinking about who they're going to vote for, they're not just thinking about contraception or abortion. Yeah. They're thinking about their pocketbooks. And all of this is framed in the idea that women are somehow a victim class in need of special protections from government. But what we wrote in Liberty is No War on Women is that there's so much to be hopeful for about women and girls today. We have an unprecedented opportunity to learn, to work, and to succeed in America. And so we push back on that idea that America is somehow inherently unfair to women. And we say what the real war on women is, is big government. It's the $16 trillion national debt. It's a failed education system. It's burdensome regulations and taxation that stifle innovation and creativity. That's the real threat to women's freedom and to our progress. So let's take a look at who single women and married women went for in the election in 2008. Right. So women unmarried, no children. President Obama, 69%. John McCain, 31%. Now let's look at married women in 2008. 44% Obama, 53% John McCain. Why? Well, I absolutely think that there has been a gender gap for the last 20 years. But in 2010, women, or the Republicans actually closed that gender gap for the first time, just very narrowly. But that was enough to sort of be the impetus for this war on women rhetoric. I think that the big thing that we try to get across in the book is that, as you know, you know, I have a father, I have, uh, I have a husband, a son, a brother. Women's and men's interests are not in conflict. We want the same thing. We all want to have a healthy society with opportunity. We all want economic growth, lower health care costs, lower energy costs. The idea of pitting the genders against one another is, is hideous. And I think that we need to push back and recognize that the greatest, the real key to women's success and to women's freedom is returning that power to the individual, to the to individual families and letting people make the best choices for themselves. All right. Very interesting point. Sabrina Schaefer, who has written, Liberty is no war on women. Check it out. Thanks so much. Thanks. Coming up on Fox and Friends, this 